Agfinity Remote Support Display Assist from AgLeader allows you to remotely view and control display screens through a web browser for faster in-field support, monitoring, and troubleshooting. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the Remote Support Display Assist tool and how to initiate a Display Assist session. Remote Support Display Assist allows Agfinity users to view and control AgLeader InCommand 1200 and 800 display screens that are in the field to assist with support, troubleshooting, and monitoring field operations. To use Remote Support Display Assist, the display operator will only need to be logged into their Agfinity account via the display, have a USB Wi-Fi adapter, and internet access. The display viewer will need to be logged into their Agfinity account, as well as have an active Agfinity Essentials license on their account. There are various ways that a remote viewing session can be initiated, using a pre-authorization code, logging into the same Agfinity account, or by setting up sharing access. Using the pre-authorization code that is generated in your field display allows you to share a 10-digit code with any Agfinity user so that they can begin viewing your field display. You can generate this code in your AgLeader display by tapping the Agfinity icon and then tapping Remote Support. Provide this code to the person who is going to view or control your display and they will enter it into Agfinity. A second way to view a field display is to simply log in to the same Agfinity account that the display is logged into. Farm managers can then assist multiple operators through the remote support tool without needing to travel to every field display. A pre-authorization code is not needed in this instance, however, the display operator will still have to accept the remote support request. The last, most automated way for a trusted advisor is to establish remote support by having account level sharing remote support display assist privileges. This gives the trusted advisor the ability to begin a remote support session at any time. This method of remote support also does not require a pre-authorization code. If the remote viewer would like access to view a display at any time without the need of the display operator accepting the request, we can allow this through the console setup of the display. Tap Setup from the home screen, then Console Setup, then tap the Agfinity tab. Change the Remote Support dropdown to Always Allow. Once the display is connected, select the display and tap View in Agfinity. You will receive a message that you must wait for the operator to accept your request, and once they do, you will see their display screen, which includes a green bar at the top, indicating to the display operator that someone is viewing their screen. You will be able to view every screen, with the exception of video inputs on the display. If you wish to control the display, tap the Request Control button on the left. Read the Remote Support Control Notice and click Accept. The display operator will then receive an on-screen notice that they need to read and accept. Once both users have accepted the terms, as the Agfinity user begins navigating through the different display functions, the display operator will be able to view a cursor showing them what buttons are being tapped. At any time, the display operator can end the session by tapping the console button and then Remote Support. During a remote support display assist session, a new icon will be displayed in the lower right hand corner and based on the color of the hourglass shown will indicate to the display operator and the user remotely controlling the display how much time is left before the remote support display assist session will need to be extended by the display operator. As the icon changes from green to yellow to red, the display operator will need to tap to extend the remote support display assist session. If the display operator does not do this, the session will be ended and the user who was remotely controlling the display will be returned to a remote viewing only session. Certain functionality is not available for the remotely controlling user to initiate for safety reasons. These include general usability and liability notices, guidance features such as engaging steering and manual steering commands, as well as operational control of UT, spinner spreader engage, anhydrous tube check, plow controls, boom pressure release, and others. You have now learned how to initiate and use the Remote Support Display Assist tool in Agfinity. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.